Garmin's new GFC 600H helicopter flight control system has been certified and is ready for installation in customer helicopters. Initially the Airbus AS350B2-B3. I joined Jack Laughlin, Garmin's engineering flight test team lead, for a demo flight in the company's AS350 to see how the new system works. The GFC600H is available in a two-axis or three-axis configuration, and it is a fly-through flight control system, which means that it is similar to stability augmentation system type helicopter autopilots in that it maintains a stable state that frees the pilot to perform other tasks and not have to concentrate on maintaining the helicopter's attitude all the time. Laughlin uses the analogy of a fixed-wing airplane's inherent stability to describe how fly-through stability works. After taking off from McNary Field in Salem, Oregon, where Garmin engineers developed the new flight control system, Laughlin switched off the GFC-600H and demonstrated what happens to the helicopter after letting go of the controls. Within a handful of seconds, the A-Star climbed and banked to the right. He then engaged the lowest state or mode of the GFC-600H, Attitude Hold Mode, or ATT, which makes the helicopter feel a lot like a stable airplane by holding pitch and roll steady, but also allowing the pilot to make changes in the flight path without shutting off the system. In ATT mode, the pilot can easily change the reference point by moving the controls to change the helicopter's position then pushing the force trim release button on the cyclic to lock in the new reference point. Or the pilot can push the four axis or beep trim switch on the cyclic to make small changes to the reference point. Makes flying a helicopter a lot easier. Yes. Yep. During the demo flight of the GFC 600H, I was able to experience how even in the lower ATT mode, the flight control system tightens up the wet noodle feel of the helicopter so that the A-Star feels much more stable. For the low speed demo, Laughlin selected ALT mode, then lowered the collective to reduce power. At 45 knots, we heard a low speed oral and the flight control system lowered the nose to maintain that speed. Low speed. Low speed. Laughlin then added a bunch of power so we could see the overspeed feature. And as the speed closed in on the V&E red line, we heard a max speed oral warning max and the helicopter speed, speed stayed just speed. below the red line. Also unique for this helicopter flight control system is Garmin's helicopter electronic stability and protection limit queuing, which helps pilots avoid excessive bank and pitch and overspeed and underspeed conditions. I could feel the controls pushing back against me. I banked steeply to the left and felt the same strong pushback. Laughlin took us down for a demonstration of the flight control system's hover capabilities above a river sandbar. About six feet above the sandbar, the flight control system was in ground speed or position hold mode. The ability for the GFC-600H to hold the hover position by integrating ground speed and position and not using attitude hold is unique, according to Laughlin. Laughlin briefed the flight path as we flew to Portland downtown heliport along the Willamette River. We could see power lines crossing the river on the moving map's wire aware display, a handy feature for a machine that usually flies close to the ground. After lunch, which demonstrated the ultra convenience of this heliport and Portland's progressive attitude towards helicopters, we headed south along the river for the flight back to Salem. We did some level button demos, with Laughlin putting the A-Star into steep climb and bank situations, then recovering to straighten level as soon as we pushed the level button. Leveling. For the arrival into McNary Field in Salem, I set up the RNAV GPS Runway 13 approach, then pushed the approach button on the mode controller as we neared the inbound course. On reaching the final approach fix, the A-Star promptly followed the glide path as I lowered the collective to keep it at about 80 knots. Back at the airport, I practiced hovering in ground speed mode. While the helicopter doesn't sit 100% still, I could easily make it do what I wanted. 
I switched off the yaw servo to make pedal turns, tried flying sideways and backwards, and I felt like I had excellent control the whole time. I performed at least five landings and takeoffs, feeling increasingly confident with each one. Thanks for watching this AIN video. Please like, subscribe, and share it if you've enjoyed it. Also, visit AINonline.com for all the latest on the aviation industry.